we could hardly talk about victims without bringing up President Zelensky. President Zelensky, you're not going to believe this, is very sad because he has been taking our billions and he has made it very clear by the fact that he keeps wearing his army fatigues, that he is struggling and he needs your help and he needs more of your billions and more of your tax dollars pledged. So color me shocked that the Oscars has just rejected his bid to appear on telecast. Now, color me shocked that he even is bidding to be on the telecast, that he keeps doing this. So let's just go through all of the various appearances that he has had on uh, across the Western media sphere. Here's a photo of President Zelensky at the Cannes Film Festival, his telecast appearance. Here he is again at the Venice Film Festival, because you should go to both. Here he is in a telecast appearance at the Grammys. Here he is in a telecast appearance at the New York Stock Exchange opening bell. I don't know why the hell that was necessary. <laughs> here he is at the Golden Globes. And my personal favorite, here he is with Sean Penn. This is a personal favorite for mine because of his face and how uniquely upsetting it, it is for me. I just don't know. Look at his face. Let's just take a second to look at his face. It's so bratty. It's so annoying. It's like, nah, 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 boo, boo. I'm going to get your tax dollars. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I told you I wanted to be an actor. And look at me, mommy. I made it. That's what that face says to me. Mommy, I made it. I told you I would. No one believed me. And in case you've not seen this yet, here he is back when he was an actor. Because this is what I see when I see this face. I see him dressed in heels dancing. Here he is, an actual video of him formerly um, as an actor. Brace yourselves, fools. Okay, he's in latex boots, if you're listening to this podcast. He's winking. He's got his belly out. He's in black heeled boots. And every single time I see this man in the news, this is what I see. I see this actor. I see this person that is playing pretend. That is what President Zelensky is. He's playing pretend. But he's gotten so bad at it that now the Oscars are saying, you know what? It's a little too much. Honestly, it's just gone a little far here. We were all behind you. We've done this. But how many billions can you take? How hard can we try to propagandize this? Even us. For us actors, it's getting a little too far. It's gone a little too far. So they have declined it. And so you will not, unfortunately, you will not be seeing Zelensky telecast appear at the Oscars this year, which I wouldn't have seen anyways because I simply do not watch the Oscars. Some good news, you guys. This makes me so happy. This is wonderful news. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are skipping college and taking on pay-by-the-hour work amid fears over skyrocketing tuition and student debt. And this is a great thing. If, if, if Forget the fears about crippling student debt. What they should really realize is that college is a scam, first and foremost, because it shouldn't be that expensive. It isn't overseas. Um, but also because of the degrees that they're giving you that render you absolutely useless. The purpose of college is for the government to have you for four years um, and to convince you uh, that you should be supporting all of their government initiatives that in the end just enslave you further. That's the truth, right? And these children are coming out. We're starting to realize that. I think what's happening is that my generation has grown up. We have realized how useless our college degrees are. And I hope that we are being encouraged to tell our children that if you have a business idea, go for it. That's it. You don't need to have a meaningless degree. You don't have to say, I went to the University of so-and-so and majored in sociology. I majored in gender studies. I majored in this and that to make yourself feel good. That's what my generation was sold. Arrogance. False arrogance, believing that somehow having a college degree makes you smarter or makes you better in society. And this is an ecosystem of lies, right? The government convincing you in high school that if you don't go to college, you're going to be a failure, right? At public schools, meeting with your counselors or saying, if you don't go, you're going to be a failure. Could it be further from the truth? I, I actually offer that you are more likely, if you start working immediately after school and you start training under somebody in an apprenticeship, that you're more likely to make more money than the people that would that go to school and go to university. I really do believe that. If you learn to work with your hands especially, because that seems to be going out of fashion, and it turns out that we don't need another latte-sipping journalist in New York and L.A. telling us how to live, right? Um, and so this makes me really excited, and I think that the pandemic obviously contributed to this. And this article goes on to detail how what first looked like a pandemic blip has turned into a crisis. Nationwide undergraduate college enrollment dropped 8% from 2019 to 2022, with declines even after returning to in-person classes, according to data from the National Student Clearinghouse. So yeah, this is a, a, a 
pandemic upside really is. I think people were realizing how much money am I paying? Because they, they remember, they weren't even adjusting tuition cost, costs. They were like, same tuition, and we're going to talk to you um, via your computer. It's going to be a virtual classroom. And then I'm, I'm guessing parents were paying attention to what they were learning, probably. And they said, what are your pronouns? And parents probably thought, what the heck are we paying for? Why are we doing this? Why don't you become a person of value? And I do want to say this to this. If you are an adult and you do run a small business, it is incumbent upon you if, you, if you think like I do, to hire kids right out of high school. They need to know if there are options. I've done that. I hired a person. She went to one semester at university. And thanks to the common sense of her parents and also people like me telling her, listen, if you decide, you and your parents decide, ultimately you don't want to do this, there will be a job available for you. She said, I don't want to do this. I know what I want to do. Um, I know what I'm not interested in. I don't want to take out all these loans and be in debt. And we hired her. And so I want to encourage you guys to do the same. There is nothing that I would like to see more than the university system just completely collapse because it's been a, a remarkable failure, um, an obvious failure. And kids are becoming dumber and more useless. We don't need that. We need to reverse it. We need to reverse that trend. All right, guys, the next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be reading your comments plus answering your questions. So if you are not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.